did tell the team is you look across college basketball every night and you know there's a team that loses a game like this every single night and good teams don't lose a game like this yeah, it's what separates the good teams from the great. Alyssa Orange, Mike Irwin, and thank you for joining us on this Sunday night. Mike, just getting back from North Little Rock, where the Hogs were able to rally from behind, beat Valparaiso 72-68. So let's break down those final actions from the final three minutes of the game. Hogs down 65-62. Uh, Isaiah Joe with the turnover, and then Mason Jones with the three, his first of the night. Jimmy Witt's turn to get a steal. Mason Jones with the encore three, and Arkansas has a 68-65 lead. It was free throws down the stretch that won it for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Joe and Jones stepping up at the charity stripe, and the Hogs go from down eight to winning by four. You know, they had a, 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 a lead there with seven and a half minutes that if we don't execute, make some tough shots and get some tough uh, defensive stops. I thought Adriel Bailey's block, um, you know, on Freeman Liberty's uh, dribble drive to the to the cup, uh, really saved the game for us. I'm just glad it's important to everybody go home, get a good rest, but stay in the gym because we got more business to handle because we have Indiana next. We're going to talk about that Indiana game in just a minute. You heard from Mason Jones and his two three pointers he made when his team needed it most. Mike finished the night with 20 points, nine rebounds, and four assists. My teammates told me to keep going because I turned up, I turned down open look with probably about two minutes to go, and I remember Desi and Adriel and Jalen just telling me and Isaiah telling me, you got to knock that down, you got to shoot that. The team needs you to make to shoot them open shots. Just to, I just got to keep confidence in myself and knowing the game wasn't going my way. It was just glad to see my teammates keep pushing me through, and I was glad to come through for my teammates. So a win is a win is a win, but despite the heroics from Mason Jones and a victory, Mike, this. Not really a pretty one for Arkansas. You know, Alyssa, Arkansas has a long history of kind of looking out of sync in North Little Rock games in spite of really good crowd support. Now, they won most of those games, but watching them, you often find yourself asking, what's wrong with these guys? And the common denominator seems to be the Christmas break. Think about it. You've just gone through finals. You take your last test. You got one left, one less last thing to do before you go home and see your family, and you really do want to go home and see your family. You got to win this game in North Little Rock, and so at various points, ah, eh, you lose focus. You may even fall behind. You make it a lot harder than it should be. Now the important thing is you do win the game, but you probably give your head coach a few more gray hairs in the process. The last game before a break uh, is not easy for teams. Uh, you know, I've I, in the four years uh, prior to this year, our teams haven't played. You know, for whatever reason, haven't played great basketball. We made it harder, harder tonight. So we kind of would have lost tonight. I don't, I don't even want to imagine what Coach Musk would have said after that game. So I'm just glad it's important to everybody go home, get a good rest, but stay in the gym because we got more business to handle. Now, Alyssa, every year when this game comes up, what do we get? Grumbling from some fans who don't like the fact that it's not on TV. It's not even one of those ESPN3 type games that you can watch on your computer. So why do they play this game in North Little Rock every December? It's a no-brainer. The crowds are great, usually the best of the non-conference schedule. And honestly, I think the university actually likes it that these people have to go to this game in person to see it. It exposes the Razorbacks to Central Arkansas fans who don't usually travel to Bud Walton Arena games. It helps in recruiting, let's face it. In basketball, most of the best in-state players are from Central Arkansas. Uh, in the crowd for these games are kids who are someday going to grow up, some of them to be Razorback players. Eric Musselman had his first experience in this arena last night, and he was highly impressed. The environment tonight? Not many, not many environments better than that in college basketball, I can tell you that. That was so loud, and, and uh, you know, we're playing in an empty gym. We might not win that game. I can, I can tell everybody in North Little Rock and anybody that came to the game, like, if, if, we're, if we're playing, you know, outdoors somewhere, five on five, we, 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 don't, win, we don't win without that loud crowd maybe tonight. Mike, are your ears still ringing? <laughs> it was loud. Yeah. It was Bud Walton arena-like like in SEC play. This was almost like watching a Kentucky game in Bud Walton. It was, it was full. There weren't empty seats. 
and people really into the game. Well, the Hogs 10 and 1 right now. Are you surprised that this team has only won, lo yeah. lost one game? Absolutely. I mean, there's no way if you go back to the start of the season, I would I would have thought they would be here. Listening to some radio on the way back, I think people who haven't seen this team, what I got from some of the stuff I was listening to, well, wow, this team is just kind of pieced together and they're not really that good, but the coaching's really get the coaching is good. But this team is better than some people think it is. I think they're the, they've the second best record in the SEC right now. Well, you know what else they have? They have Indiana. How do you think they'll respond on the road against the Hoosiers? Well, Indiana's really good and it is a tr tough road game. They barely beat them up here last year and then had to go back to that place in the postseason NIT. And it was a three point game with a lot of the same players that'll be in this game. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. I don't think they'll win it, but if they do, that would really get you into SEC play on a roll. It'll definitely be a measuring stick to where they are heading into SEC play, Arkansas and Indiana on Sunday. It's a 5 p.m. tip from Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana. You can watch it on the Big Ten Network. All right.